In this module, we shall discuss some more examples of groups of the matrices. Let A i j within square bracket and B i j within square bracket be two arbitrary matrices of order n by n with real entries. A i j within square bracket plus B i j within square bracket equal to a i j plus b i j within square bracket. We have used here the cloyer uh, property which is equal to b i j plus a i j within square bracket. As we know that real numbers are commutative under addition. We have used here the commutative property of real numbers under addition. And this is equal to b i j square bracket plus a i j within square bracket. It means that matrices of order m by n with real entries are commutative under addition. Therefore, the set of all matrices of order m by n with real entries is a group under addition and moreover it is an abelian group under addition because it satisfies an extra property that is the commutative property under addition. Let M, M, N, Z be a set of all matrices of order M by N with integer entries and this set is a group under addition. It is also a commutative group under addition. As we know that the set of integers are commutative under addition and associative property holds in set of integers. Uh, 0 is the additive identity in the set of integers and if we have a i j uh, its additive inverse would be minus a i j. It also belongs to z. In the similar manner, we can say that the set of matrices of order m by n with rational entries under matrix addition form, a, form an abelian group. Similarly, the set of matrices of order m by n with complex entries under addition is an abelian group. Is set of all matrices of order n by n with real entries is a group under multiplication? From linear algebra, we have seen that for every square matrix A and B of order n by n with real entries, we have A B belongs to M N N R. It means that matrices are for matrices are closed under matrix multiplication. Let A B C be arbitrary matrices of order n by n with real entries then associative property is satisfied a b within bracket into c equal to a within bracket a into within bracket b c for every matrix a of order n by n with real entries and i n i n here is the identity matrix we have ones in the diagonals and the remaining entries are zero a i n equal to a equal to i n a it implies that i n is the multiplicative identity of the matrices of order n by n with real entries now we can put question here that can we find the inverse of the each square matrix of order n by n with real entries? The answer would be no because 
there are many matrices whose determinant is zero. For instance, if there are two identical rows or columns in the matrix, then its determinant would be zero. So A inverse does not exist for all those A belonging to M, N, and R having determinant of A equal to zero. Now we define a field. Field is a set together with two binary operations, addition and multiplication. Here addition and multiplication is not an ordinary addition and multiplication. F plus is an abelian group. The set F minus zero under multiplication form an abelian group. Left distributive law holds for every A, B, C belonging to F. A within bracket B plus C equal to A, B plus A, C. Right distributive law also holds A plus B within bracket C equal to A, C plus B, C. Z under addition form a group, but you know that set of integers under multiplication do not form a group. For instance, the multiplicative inverse of 2 is 1 over 2, which is not an integer. So, Z together with addition and multiplication do not form a field. Set of rational numbers under addition is an abelian group and non-zero rational numbers under multiplication are also abelian group. Therefore, set of rational numbers together with addition and multiplication form a field as we know that distributive laws holds in set of real numbers. So, it also holds for the set of integers and for the set of rational numbers. In the similar manner, we can say that set of real numbers together with addition and multiplication form a field. C plus dot also form a field. 